I wasn't going to make a video about this product yet because this is something I am still working on and it's super secret at the moment, but I discovered something today. What was causing my layer failures? I'm talking these things just breaking right off. And I was like, wait a minute, why are they breaking off at exactly the same layer? What's causing these things to be weak at exactly that point? That doesn't make sense. I mean... Is there some Z-banding going on? Well, you can see a little bit of it. And I'm using up a really cheap spool of Elegoo filament here, so it's kind of garbage. But I noticed something while it was printing. I noticed my supports, which I'm using PLA supports on Pet G, happen to line up with where these pieces are breaking. You see, I've got a support here, and then there's a support going on here with a little bit of white PLA. Using PLA to support PET G, bad idea. And if I take my tower here, you'll see that wherever it's easily broken, lines are right on up with where it had switched filaments. Now, is it contamination? Am I not purging enough of the PLA? Is it the fact that it takes a few minutes for it to switch filaments, print those little supports, then switch filaments again, heat back up to PETG temperature, and start again? I don't know. Whatever it is, I'm no longer going to use PLA for pet G supports and vice versa. And I mean, just, that is absolutely ridiculous. I bet I can break that whole thing off. Look at that, in those two spots. And this is a product I want to manufacture and possibly sell. Despite all the advice you'll hear, oh yeah, using PLA makes it so much easier to remove supports. Well, there's your magic solution right there.